Is everyone good today? All right. I need a lot more energy than that. Is everyone good today? Everyone good? All right. All right. So we had this men's intensive that we did this week, and there were 13 gentlemen who joined me on the mountain along with, with some others who I'll familiarize you with today. So I want all the the participants, all of you uh, men, the 13, if you guys can just come up and you're just going to come and, and line yourself up here on the stage. All right, so um, again, we um, asked these men to come up on the mountain with us for a couple of days. And um, to say yes to this did not come without a fight. It didn't come without some warfare. Yeah. Yeah, it cost them to say yes to this. Um, I believe uh, we had some of these gentlemen who battled uh, illness uh, the, the days prior to this trip. We had um, family hospitalizations that happened. Uh, we had gentlemen who could not afford to, to use the PTO that they had, and they did it anyway. You had guys who couldn't afford to go at all, and they came anyway. I mean, there's all different types of things that happen. And then we get on the mountain. Hallelujah. And without revealing too much, we put them through some stuff. And there were moments on this trip that I actually thought I was going to get in a fist fight. And so just dealing with, with so much stuff, you, you finally get on this mountain, you say yes, you, you leave your family, which is a, a drama on its own, right, fellas? Leave your family for a couple days, you get up there. And when we visited this property to, uh, to scout it, we went in February, and it was a great day. And then, right, Carrie? And then we went back, and it was a great day again. And so then we book it and we get there in April and we saw that it may snow. <laughs> and even the, the, the people that own the property, they said, oh, we're laughing about this because it never snows here. And we're like, okay, okay. Guys, it snowed multiple days. <laughs> and so there were moments where these guys were piping. I mean, they were mad, mad. <laughs> Like, you know what mad is. They were like over the edge, mad, like the other side of mad. Uh, and then we just, w we wouldn't tell them what was going on on the trip. And because we weren't telling them what was going on, they didn't have a, a schedule as far as like what was going to happen. We didn't tell them anything as far as what it was in the first place. And so I don't know if you guys know this, but there's a bunch of guys here. These, this is like the biggest group of don't tell me what to do <laughs> that you'll ever meet in your life. It was wild, man. And so just not giving them information. I think if, if we told them that all will be revealed in due time one more time, there would have been a fist fight. I know there was going to be. Um, you know. But then uh, things turned, and we just had so many amazing moments of breakthrough uh, with them on the mountain. And so here's what I want to do. I, I would love to take the whole day to just go through the whole line and have them share, but I'm just going to have a few of them share. So... What we're going to do is I'm going to start with Isaac. Isaac, do you want to share what God did? Um, that's a breakthrough that uh, I'm, I'm here. I'm up here. Um, I used to not have... I used to be able to speak in front of crowds. Um, I had confidence. And over time... Um, I had some wounds um, that, that went deep. The roots went really deep. And uh, I worked on those roots and um, worked on a lot of things. And, and God has blessed me, and, and he is a redeemer, and he is faithful to who he is. And I got a wife and a son to prove who he is. Um, but these, these roots, they went so deep that I plucked them, but there was some left and they grew back and as time went on as I'm trying to 
draw closer to God and, and I'm trying to be more part of the church um, because those roots were so holding on my identity um, who I was shifted and the enemy got a hold and um, I didn't feel worthy and, and, and I was afraid to step out of faith it impacted I was struggling honestly I was struggling to I had I had times that I'd come to church and I get filled up and then I go home and doubt self-doubt would come and and that was just became my life um, <clears throat> I was there was I was asked to come to an event by some mighty men from the rock and when I looked in their eyes I saw light it was smiles it was joys and they said is this life changing and I believed them because you could see it in their countenance something happened on that mountain and I said yes I'm all in let's go because I don't want what I have I want what God wants me to have come on Um, so I said yes, and uh, God did surgery on my heart, and um, it was no anesthesia. <laughs> yeah. uh, it, it was uh, it was pain. <laughs> Opening those doors that you didn't want to open. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> that's that's not the full story, um, but there was reprieve because these men also said yes, and like they're doing right now, we sold we stood shoulder to shoulder, and they brought their yeses, and they brought their pains, and they opened up their doors, and together we encouraged each other. And we loved on one another. And then you have the men who helped God put, do it um, through the, the, the intensive. And they had been through it already. So you still see their light, their joy, the change in who they were. And that gave you energy. And God... I can't share too much. <laughs> um, he is faithful in who he is. And he brought out that scalpel and he went to work. But it was gentle. Feeling <laughs> the onion hurt, but the, what he did was warm and it was beautiful. At, towards the end, I, um, I was in this place where I went in broken and, and uh, just, just broken. And uh, I didn't know what this feeling was. And I was like, uh, am I going backwards? And what's going on here? And God's like, no. It's been a long time, son, but this is peace. This is peace. Rest. Rest. This is what, this was what my peace is. Um, so you men who may be listening and, and, and thinking, oh, oh, cool, another uh, men's retreat. <laughs> there was no retreat. <laughs> <laughs> we stormed that mountain. And prior, I was okay on the battlefield fighting the enemy. Just being the guy who had the horn or the trumpet and calling like, okay, guys, let's go to battle. I'm still on the, uh, the battlefield. You guys go. Because I didn't have the confidence. I didn't think I had a place up there in the front lines. Now, God... He 
He gave me a place on the front lines with these men. And um, one of the things that really stood out to me was, I, can't, I might not say this exactly how it went, but, but what you don't fight today, your children will fight tomorrow. And we're not having that. round one. Uh, next, I want to have Papa Brad McTeer come forward and share with us what happened. I'm going to warn you ahead of time, this was an emotional week, and the emotions were still flowing today. So, if I lose it, I lose it, right? So I got a call from Pastor Sean saying, Brad, we have one more spot left for this mountain event. I'd like you to come. What do you think? And I said, you know, I'd love to, but I need to ask my wife first. And the reason I said that is because our 33rd anniversary was yesterday, right? So that her, our anniversary fell during the dates that we were going to be gone. And I wanted to have her blessing. And like I knew she would, she says, you should go. And I know her heart, so I know when she said that, she's thinking, when he comes back, I'm going to get the greatest gift I've ever had <laughs> on my anniversary. <laughs> so I went to the mountain with 12 men who I've seen in church. I've probably shaken some of their hands a few times. Very superficial didn't know anything about them. So we went to the mountain. I got to share my life stories with them. They got to share their life stories with me. And in that, we just loved on each other, supported each other, and we became a band of brothers Amen. in a very good way. So ironically enough, I was feeling like after 70 years of living and <clears throat> all the... Uh, ups and downs and hurts and pains and poor decisions, everything along the way, I felt like my heart was ready to have some weeds pulled and some major pruning done. That's just what I was feeling. And so that's why I wanted to go. Because I felt like the condition of my heart was blocking further blessings from my Heavenly Father. And it was just keeping me from getting closer to Him. So that was my motivation for going. So I have to say that uh, I shed more tears this week than I've done in a lifetime. And it was a good thing. Absolutely a good thing. I, I got to spend lots of time by myself out in the wilderness just listening to the Lord's voice. I asked him questions. He asked me questions. I wanted some answers. And it was a tremendous experience. I have to say that uh, I felt like I just got so much freedom in that exercise of going. I felt like I got a cleansing. And that was what I was looking for, for going on this trip, because I want to be so much closer to my Heavenly Papa. I want to know him more. I, I just want more of his blessing. But I needed to take care of my business first. So now that we've had this experience, 